When we look at our galaxies and the light from them, the stars, this is sea froth on an ocean of dark matter that's what's actually driving where everything collects. Dark matter might actually answer back. Scientists have discovered a way to detect the invisible substance that makes up 85% of our universe through cosmic echoes. CERN physicists are now exploring a technique that could reveal dark matter without building new multi-billion dollar colliders. This isn't theoretical, it's something we could test right now with technology that already exists. Here's what this groundbreaking approach means in simple terms. Scientists transmit a powerful, precisely tuned radio beam into space. If axions, a leading dark matter candidate, exist in our galaxy, they can be stimulated to convert into photons. This creates a faint but detectable echo signal coming back along the opposite direction at an extremely specific frequency. This echo isn't just any signal. It's razor thin on the frequency spectrum, like finding a single precise musical note in a symphony of cosmic noise. That narrow signature is key to separating it from background radiation. What makes this revolutionary is what we'd instantly learn. The echo's frequency directly tells us the axion's mass, not just an estimate, but an exact measurement. The shape and width of the signal reveals how dark matter flows around us, mapping the invisible streams and structures throughout our galaxy. Best of all, we can search for these echoes using existing radio telescopes like China's 21 CMA array or European facilities. No need to wait decades for new particle colliders. We could start looking tomorrow. This isn't just theoretical physics. There's a clear, actionable plan ready to implement right now. The strategy pairs existing powerful radio transmitters with sensitive receiver arrays already scanning the sky. Facilities like Goldstone's 500 kilowatt X-band radar or IceCat's megawatt class transmitters could send precisely tuned radio signals into space. These would target frequency bands corresponding to likely axion masses between 0.4 and 35 microelectron volts. Meanwhile, receiver arrays like LOFAR in Europe or China's 21 CMA would listen for the telltale backscatter, an incredibly narrow spectral line that appears as dark matter responds. The technique uses rapid on-off frequency bracketing around the drive tone to eliminate false positives. This method quickly rejects background noise and isolates the true echo signal if it exists. Confirmation requires repeating the experiment at a second site under different conditions. The SKA array under construction would be perfect for this verification step. This transforms abstract theory into a concrete experimental campaign with real hardware, specific frequencies, and a testable signal signature. Which would you choose first? A powerful transmitter that can excite more dark matter particles, or an ultra-quiet receiver that can detect the faintest echoes? Tell us in the comments now. Like and subscribe for clear explanations of cutting-edge physics. Your support helps reach more curious minds interested in the secrets of our universe. There are actually two complementary paths to detecting these dark matter echoes, each with unique advantages that change the search strategy. The first approach uses engineered echoes where humans transmit the signal and then listen for the response. This gives complete control over frequency, timing, and beam geometry. The second approach leverages astrophysical echoes where nature provides the transmitter. Bright radio sources like supernova remnants can stimulate axion decay naturally, creating a mirror image gegenschein across the sky. These cosmic beacons, like the Crab Nebula or Cassiopeia, a, act as free, powerful transmitters, eliminating the need for human-made equipment on that end. Both methods target the light-mass axion frontier that colliders struggle to reach. They complement CERN's existing searches perfectly. But here's what changes everything. A single clean spectral line detected tonight could instantly reveal the exact mass of dark matter, a parameter physicists have hunted for decades. Think of radar, but stranger. You ping the sky with a pitch so exact it feels surgical. If dark matter is axions, it nudges them to split. Two photons appear, one runs forward, one returns like a whisper. That whisper isn't noise, it's a fingerprint with mass engraved on it. The expected dark matter echo appears as an incredibly thin spectral line centered near the transmit frequency. This isn't a broad bump or fuzzy signal. It's razor sharp, 
like finding a single hair in a haystack. The width of this line measures only parts per million of the center frequency. This extreme narrowness comes directly from the velocity distribution of dark matter particles in our galactic halo. As Earth orbits the Sun and moves through the galaxy, the echo's frequency shifts slightly. This natural drift creates a distinctive pattern that changes with the seasons. This shifting signature provides a powerful built-in verification. No human-made interference would mimic this precise astronomical motion. Detection systems use matched filters specifically designed to lock onto this unique profile as it drifts. These filters effectively ignore everything that doesn't match the expected echo shape. When scientists jump to completely different frequencies, the echo disappears entirely. This on-off test confirms the signal isn't just background noise. Similarly, pointing receivers in the wrong direction produces silence. For Gegenschein echoes, only the exact opposite point in the sky from bright radio sources shows the signal. Could certain corridors in the sky actually amplify these dark matter echoes? This question opens up an entirely new dimension to the search. Recent theoretical work suggests local dark matter streams might dramatically sharpen the echo line. These cold streams act like focused beams of axions flowing through our solar system. This phenomenon could enable something revolutionary. Detailed dark matter weather maps of our galactic neighborhood. Imagine mapping invisible currents flowing around Earth, just like meteorologists track jet streams. The Echo Detection Plan specifically tests this idea by scanning multiple sky positions and tracking seasonal variations. Repeated observations would reveal changing patterns in the dark matter distribution. Such maps would transform astronomy and particle physics simultaneously. They'd provide new insights about galaxy formation while helping physicists make faster decisions about which theories to pursue. Let's quickly reset what makes this approach so groundbreaking. Dark matter echoes target the ultralight axion frontier, particles with masses between 0.4 and 35 microelectron volts. Traditional particle colliders like CERN's LHC squeeze heavy dark matter candidates each year, tightening constraints but finding no smoking gun. The latest Run 3 results continue this pattern. Echo searches hit precisely what massive colliders cannot reach. The featherweight particles too light to produce in accelerators, but perfect candidates for cosmic dark matter. This complementary approach means physicists don't need to wait decades for next-generation colliders. A single detected echo tone would instantly reveal one specific mass value. No ambiguity, no decade-long wait. You might worry about interference, so do we. We flip the transmitter off and keep recording. We jump the tone by a few kilohertz. Real echoes vanish on those jumps. We point the wrong way as a control. Real echoes don't show there. Only when every trap is sprung do we lean in. If a spectral line appears, the next step involves sweeping frequencies near that detection point. This precision mapping reveals the exact peak and its incredibly tiny width, a crucial signature. Tracking this signal night after night exposes subtle drifts as Earth moves through space. These patterns match predictions from specific dark matter halo models. The line's shape tells a remarkable story about our galactic neighborhood. Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. A line narrower than expected suggests cold, organized streams of dark matter flowing through our solar system. Conversely, a wider line indicates a hot, turbulent mix of particles swirling in multiple directions. 
Either result profoundly impacts our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. The accumulated data builds into something revolutionary, a local kinematics map of invisible matter surrounding Earth. This cosmic atlas would reveal structure invisible to every previous detection method. Such findings immediately set the next frequency targets for deeper searches. The measured mass narrows the hunt dramatically, allowing researchers to focus resources on promising regions. This isn't just theoretical physics, it's cosmic cartography on an unprecedented scale. Each measurement fills in blank spaces on maps of the universe's dominant substance. A precisely determined axion mass would transform physics overnight. Laboratories worldwide would immediately retune their detectors to this specific value. Research budgets would stop chasing incorrect mass ranges, potentially saving billions in misdirected experiments. This efficiency accelerates discovery across multiple fields. Education gains a clear, teachable story about dark matter. Abstract concepts become concrete measurements students can understand and visualize. The specialized radio frequency tools developed for echo detection spill over into telecommunications and precision timing. History shows these technical advances often seed unexpected innovations. High-precision RF systems similar to those needed for echo detection have previously revolutionized GPS, medical imaging, and wireless communications. The technological payoff extends far beyond cosmology. The stunning implications reach into multiple disciplines, from astronomy to quantum physics. The first verified echo line would redraw search maps overnight and reshape our understanding of the universe. Picture the night when it appears. A razor-thin tone sits where emptiness should be. The checks run one by one. Office on. Offset. Back again. It refuses to die. That's when mass stops being a rumor. It becomes a number on the screen. The axion is simply a tiny mass particle that interacts weakly with light. Unlike most particles, axions can convert into photons and back again under specific conditions. Echo formation happens through stimulated decay. A precisely tuned incoming photon can trigger an axion to convert into two photons. One photon continues forward while the other travels backward, creating the echo. Converting frequency to mass uses a fixed equation. Frequency in megahertz equals 241.8 multiplied by the axion mass in microelectron volts. This direct relationship means measuring one immediately reveals the other. The echo line appears incredibly thin because it's only broadened slightly by dark matter velocities in our galactic halo. These speeds create a tiny spread around the central frequency. Precise timing corrections account for Earth's motion through space. Without these adjustments, the subtle signal would be lost as our planet orbits the sun and moves through the galaxy. Detection uses specialized filters matched to the expected halo velocity profile. These filters maximize sensitivity to the predicted signal shape while rejecting random noise. Verification comes from comparing on-target spectra with off-target measurements. The echo appears only when all conditions align perfectly, wrong frequency, wrong direction, or transmitter off, and it vanishes. Think of it like tuning a guitar to find a hidden resonance in a room. Strike the wrong note and nothing happens. Hit exactly the right frequency and suddenly the room itself sings back with a clear, pure tone. CERN teams lead world-class dark sector instrumentation development. Their CAST and RAIDS programs already search for axions using complementary cavity techniques. Forward physics experiments like FASER probe light, feebly interacting particles that traditional detectors might miss. These specialized detectors extend CERN's reach beyond standard collision searches. Radio echo work benefits directly from this expertise. The same ultra-precise timing systems, low noise electronics, and signal processing developed for particle physics apply to echo detection. The technical challenges overlap significantly. Stable frequency sources, synchronization between distant sites, and filtering tiny signals from noise are common to both approaches. Results from echo searches and collider experiments cross-check each other. Constraints from one method narrow the search space for the other, creating a powerful feedback loop. Both fronts are essential and complementary. Neither approach alone can cover the full range of dark matter possibilities, but together they form a comprehensive search strategy. Here's the partnership logic. 
Colliders hunt the heavy and visible. Echoes hunt the light and shy. Each closes the other's loopholes. Together, they trap the truth. Rigorous null tests must be planned before any experiment begins. This prevents confirmation bias and establishes clear verification standards. Power-off recordings serve as the first crucial check. When the transmitter shuts down, any persistent signal indicates interference rather than a true echo. Frequency offset tests provide another powerful verification. Shifting the transmitter just slightly away from the target frequency should make real echo candidates disappear completely. Polarization flips reveal additional signature behaviors. Genuine axion echoes respond to polarization, changes in specific predictable ways, unlike most interference sources. Wrong direction checks must return nothing. Points in the sky away from the expected echo position should remain silent if the signal is authentic. Multi-site coincidence forms the ultimate verification. Different facilities observing the same target must detect identical signals at the exact same time. Only candidates passing all these stringent tests deserve serious consideration. This disciplined approach prevents false claims and maintains scientific integrity. Such careful methods keep dark matter research trustworthy and credible. The stakes are simply too high for shortcuts. Dark matter echoes deliver three revolutionary measurements at once, precise mass, coupling strength trends, and local flow patterns. All three emerge from analyzing a single repeatable spectral line. The mass measurement instantly narrows decades of speculation to one exact number. This alone would transform physics overnight. Coupling trends reveal how axions interact with normal matter, potentially unlocking new quantum physics principles across multiple fields. Local flow maps expose the invisible currents of dark matter streaming through our cosmic neighborhood. This reveals structure impossible to detect through any other means. That combination of insights explains why this approach could change everything. It bridges theoretical physics with direct observation in one elegant experiment. The ECHO method balances ambitious curiosity with practical, testable discipline. It represents physics at its best, bold ideas grounded in careful measurement. Dark matter reveals itself through gravitational effects rather than light. Galaxies rotate too fast for their visible mass. Gravity lenses distant starlight around seemingly empty space. Cosmic structures form too quickly without extra invisible mass. Axions weren't originally proposed to solve the dark matter problem. Physicists created them to fix a symmetry issue in the strong nuclear force. The bonus? Their properties coincidentally make them perfect dark matter candidates. Several search methods hunt axions besides echoes. Haloscopes use resonant cavities to convert axions into detectable photons. Helioscopes, like CERN's CAST, look for axions produced in the sun. Underground detectors watch for rare interactions with normal matter. Collider searches follow different strategies. They look for mono-X events, where visible particles recoil against invisible dark matter. They measure invisible decay widths of known particles. They track unusual long-lived particles that might connect to dark sectors. Radio astronomy brings crucial tools to the echo hunt. Different frequency bands correspond to specific axion mass ranges. Radio quiet zones shield sensitive receivers from human interference. Advanced digital processing extracts faint signals from cosmic noise. The history spans decades of incremental progress. Axions were proposed in 1977 by Petze and Quinn. Early detection concepts emerged in the 1980s. The ECHO method itself was fully developed in peer-reviewed papers from 2019 to 2023. CERN's involvement evolved through its own journey, from early theoretical work to the CAST helioscope to today's forward physics experiments like PHASER. Each step built expertise relevant to ECHO searches. Major technical advances in radio astronomy now make echo detection feasible. Digitization, massive computing, and phased arrays have transformed what's possible since the original Axion proposals. Subscribe for more careful breakdowns of groundbreaking physics concepts. And consider sharing this with one science-minded friend who appreciates the universe's deeper mysteries.